Hi guys and welcome to another video. This one is a short one um, as we're going to be discussing the new Home Center 3 Lite. It's the replacement for the Home Center Lite but with some massive changes. Firstly and foremost, the Home Center Lite only did block scenes and things like that. This one has pretty much the full capability of what the Home Center 3 can do. So access to quick apps, Lua coding, um, as well as all the devices. The limitation is around 40 Z-Wave devices because of the memory limitations and RAM limitations. So that's why they've designed it for basically small automated apartments or small houses that are not gonna do a lot of automation. Um, this is where this one comes in. The other thing is rather than being hardwired, this does work on wireless connectivity as well. So it does make it easier to place this in different locations. The Home Center 3 does also have the ability to be connected wirelessly as well, but hardwired also. So um, here we are. So what I'm going to do is without further ado, we're just going to do the unboxing and then we're going to come back to the setup. So um, I'll catch you shortly. Right, here we are guys. I'm going to be showing you this unboxing guide for the Home Center 3 Lite. So, um, it is, uh, packaging is a totally bit different compared to the Home Center 3, but compared to the flagship products, then uh, I think what they are trying to do is save a bit of money and put more, um, more, more details into the uh, product itself, which they have done. So this is actually, I think my third or my fourth one, but I thought it's about time I actually did do a, did a guide. So open the box up and then we have this uh, unit here. Compact unit in keeping with the design of the Home Center 3 full version, but it's, it is smaller, a lot smaller. And at the back of it, the only thing we have got is one USB, micro USB power connections. And then of course the details here and the IP addresses and the uh, SSIDs, etc. What else we've got in the box? Um, just some user instructions. And we've also got our power pack. And that's it. Nice and straightforward. So power supply here. So I'm doing this one handed. So we've got a power supply here. All it is, it's a USB power supply, uh, micro USB and um, as it's a European product, we've got it as a two pin plug. So we just convert that to a three pin USB and it will do the job for us here in the UK. So to log in, what we have to do is we've got to make sure that we pick up the address from here on the back of the unit. And uh, just from there, we pick up the address and uh, we can then uh, log into it and I'll go through that with you now. Bear with. So I'm gonna switch back to the laptop and then uh, we'll take it from there. Right, now that everything's plugged in, we are now need to connect to the Home Center 3 Lite. So to do that, we click on our Wi-Fi and we need to click on other networks and we need to choose the Home Center 3 Lite. We need then need to put the password in. So I took a picture of that earlier on and I need to put the password in now, which is... Yeah. and then hit join and it should then once I uh, if I've typed it in right yep I've joined onto the network now we're just going to open up Chrome and we're going to type in find.fibara.com voila and what it does is it automatically finds our home center and gets us in there. So we then put our username and our password in there. So I'll just cancel that for now. And it's, it's just a welcome screen. So we hit start. And the first thing we've got to make sure is we're going to connect to our network, which is our wireless network. So that's the network here. Next, and I just need to put the password in.
click on connect. Now we are connected. Now this is the time to set up the static IPs if we want to. So I'm going to do just that and hit save. Oh, sorry. I've just heard a beep. That means I've set it to the wrong one. I've just got an IP conflict. So make sure you set it to an address that's not being used. So now that's done. It's now, that means I can now log in to this on uh, the 250 address. So if I click on next and uh, software up to date. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from the home center network and connect back to our main Sky network, the main internet network. Now that I've done that, all we have to do now is just type in the address that we created earlier on. No. Correctly. And it will take us back to our uh, home center three. Voila. And then we just type in the IP addresses username and password which we haven't changed just yet so the default is admin admin and then now we can continue with our uh, setup so by clicking on the screens for the next next and we've got the rooms which we'll create afterwards and then we've got the standard Yahoo weather as usual and this gives us all our details here so now we're going to click on uh, next to take us to location. So here we would just put our location in, which I'm going to do, but I'm at a client's place. So I will do that afterwards. And then we can change our time settings here. So uh, if I change my time setting, the whole system will reboot. So I'll do that afterwards to keep the video short. Variables at the moment, we're not creating any, or there's no events created. Then we come over to our connecting to the Fibaro account. So again, we can carry on doing that. And then I'm going to update the username and password to the client's username and password. And then I'm going to put my installer access details in there too. And we don't need to do any of these. So because all these alarm panels, climate panels, scenes, etc., we're going to be setting them all up after we have done the initial configuration, which we're going through now. So what I'm going through really is the wizard, which we'll have to follow through. So remember that the HC3 Lite is um, single core and um, with two gigs of RAM. So we've got loads of free space at the moment. And then it's all fully configured because there's no uh, nothing in there, to be honest. So and then click on next. And um, that takes us back to the beginning. So now we are ready to start adding our devices and start creating uh, creating our magic with scenes. So that's, and it is very, very quick, very, very easy. Um, it's very, very, and to be honest, it's exactly the same as the Home Center 3. Only difference is it runs on a wireless network and that we have to do the initial network configuration by logging into the, um, the Wi-Fi access mode on the home center. If you had a home center three and you didn't have a hardwired connection, then you would follow the exact same rules, the sequence that we did here as well. Um, so there you have it. So follow that, you'll be able to get the home center three light up and running in no time. Everything else is exactly the same as a home center three. That's the good thing about it um, in terms of scenes, block the quick apps and everything. The only difference is less memory, therefore a uh, reduced number of devices that we can use. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.